dodge. All right, what's up everyone? This is Sarge. We're gonna be looking at the top 10 attachments to use on your Type 99 Sniper once you fully max it out. The Type 99 Sniper is the first sniper in Vanguard, and with that comes a lot of different attachments and setups you can use, depending on your play style, really. So for me, I like to play aggressively, and for those of you guys who have been subscribed on my channel know that, um, this is gonna be my recommended loadout if you do plan on using an aggressive style. I will give you a suggestion also if you do also run your snipers more of a traditional build or if you like to hold angles and um, you know pick off targets at a distance, um, I'll give you that as well. But first important one is going to be the optic. Now, there's different choices you can use, but I like the iron sights. It just it feels more natural to use iron sights, plus they give you an increased ADS speed boost to your gun. There's three different ones you can use, but I just run it with the factory iron sights. If you do want to run a scope for more of a traditional build, um, I will recommend the SVT 40PU scope three to six times because it has a cleaner sight. And by that, I mean a cleaner ring around the scope versus the Type 97, which is kind of like the VLK. It's clean uh, reticle, but again, there, it's a huge ring. Even the default scope has a big ring around it. You can run that as well because uh, you will not take any cons, I believe, if you do just run the default scope. Uh, but again, you have to um, put up with the fact that there's a huge ring when you're scoping in. Um, other than that, that is going to be my recommended optic. Uh, the other important one is the rear grip. I do like running with Amped when I'm playing Warzone. And what they did this time around was they infused a lot of the perks into the build itself or the gunsmith itself. So rear grips are gonna have some of those perk stats. Taped grip is going to be the recommended one. In this instance, I believe if you are using other weapons like assault rifles or, or SMGs, it has a different name, but taped grip is going to be the one recommended for snipers if you do wanna have an amped uh, like build. So being able to swap to your secondary um, fluently is going to be important for those aggressive situations. So on top of that, you get aiming stability, which is also another important stat for your sniper. If you're more of a traditional sniper, then the granular grip is also a recommendation for that as well. For the barrel, there's two different ones. You either run the Shidashi 712 millimeter sniper, which is for traditional snipers. You get a larger one hit kill area, which is nice, but you sacrifice a lot of ADS. So don't recommend this if you are playing aggressive. I would actually run the Shidashi short build. And that's ADS, sprint to fire speed, beautiful for any aggressive sniper. The muzzle, I'm, I've flipped a lot between the F8 stabilizer and the L break. Uh, but the stabilizer does have that damage range and accuracy, so that I like that. I like increasing my damage, especially with this sniper as a lighter sniper versus its other sniper counterparts like the Kyrant 98K. And so it doesn't hit as hard, so having some kind of points into damage range uh, plus accuracy is really nice for this gun. Otherwise, you can run just one accuracy for the LA break and not have to sacrifice with any cons. For a more stealthier build, you can use the MX Silencer, but you do sacrifice ADS, which is also already a big thing for these guns because they already have slow ADS. Next is the stock. I'm running no stock for my gun for the increased ADS, sprints of fire, and movement speed, plus two points in the movement speed just allows you to be a little bit more aggressive by pushing and engaging your targets at closer range. For a more traditional sniper, you can use the Sakura SVR Custom, which has a lot of aim walking movement speed, accuracy, recoil recovery, plus ADS speed. Next is the underbarrel. I'm using the heavy foregrip that is going to increase aiming stability, recoil recovery, and aim walking steadiness. This is great if you are, um, you know, constantly quick scoping and you want to recenter. It allows you to do that a little bit easier. Um, the other alternative is the SMLE pistol grip, which gives you hip fire and sprint to fire speed. So I was flip flopping between these two, but I found that the heavy grip was a little bit more easier to recenter my quick scopes as I'm sniping in on targets. You can also run this grip if you are a more traditional sniper or the first underbarrel, which is the M1930, which gives you accuracy versus the heavy foregrip. Next is the magazine. So they have a 20 round drum mag. That is absolutely wild. You'll never have to reload with this. And um, for some reason, I don't feel like there's a hit to the ADS that it says it should. Um, so I don't know if that's broken right now, but I'm running the 20 round mag and absolutely loving it. So I do recommend it for now. I think if they do fix it, um, you probably want to default to the five round mag or the eight millimeter clauser five round mag for the damage. Otherwise you don't want to use anything else because the 5.6 millimeter rounds do hurt your damage and bullet penetration. 
and range, which is absolutely horrible. And in some instances, while I was using this, it actually took three shots to down a player. And that's really bad on vanilla COD games. Ammo type, we're going with subsonic to keep myself a little bit more stealthy. Traditional snipers, you're probably gonna wanna use lengthen, and that's pretty much the only two I would recommend. FMJ rounds are great if you are stacking that with a perk called the piercing vision, which allows you to highlight targets that are uh, being suppressed so that's something that you can you know experiment with but i would just stick with the other two just to maximize your use of using this weapon proficiency we are using vital for increased area of critical hits that's great for giving yourself more one shots hard scope will probably be your go-to if you're more of a traditional sniper and last but not least i'm using on hand to give me less downtime while i'm using equipment like throwing grenades or popping a stim there is some lag while using stuff and swapping back into your weapon and getting back into the gunfight this decreases the downtime time in between those actions and so I felt like I was a little bit more fluid while running with this versus any other perk but obviously if you are playing a traditional sniper um, either deep breath would work or fully loaded to give you a little bit more ammo and so yeah that is my top 10 attachments to be using for the type 99 and I feel like that's probably going to be a thing for um, the other snipers so I still haven't leveled up the car 98k all the way I'm still working on that one and the three line rifle but I will give you guys a final thoughts once I have all the attachments leveled up for those guns as well definitely give it a shot as you level up your weapons I do recommend using just as many ADS attachments as you can as you're progressing through the level tree also to note it is good to use the surplus to level up your character as you're grinding then you can swap back to your regular kit Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like and let me know in the comments below if there are any other builds you would recommend using on a sniper. Enjoy these clips of using the Type 99 sniper. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Oi, 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 oi. I can't get this shit. Hard point confirmed. Hard point activated. The enemy is taking the hard point. Enable. Recon mission ready. Find the bastards. Recon uh, uh, down. They got me pinned. Saving uh, 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 ammo. Saving ammo. Taking Baker. We hold. Almost there. There's no wow, more. Double kill. <laughs> Feel better now. Losing objective Baker. Give me up. Another kill for work. Good work, soldier. Recon mission ready. Air Force. 
Bro, come on. Damn tags, boy. I died. The enemy is taking the hard point. He is lost. Fight back. Double kill. He's dodging. Tag bomb inbound. 